Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! More now on Sir Cliff. What's going on with that? Our crime correspondent, Martin Brunt, is joining us. He thought he was in the clear. Uh, he did until uh, a couple of weeks ago when he learned that one of his four accusers was challenging the decision by the prosecutors not uh, to, to prosecute him. Um, he said at the time, Sir Cliff said at the time, that he was confident that the CPS would go back and look at uh, its review and still come out with the same decision not to prosecute him. Uh, I've just spoken to his spokesperson uh, who said there's no new word from Sir Cliff, but I think uh, you can understand that probably his reaction is going to be the same. Now, Alison Saunders, who heads the CPS, said a couple of days ago that he wouldn't have to wait very long for a decision on that original uh, review, which uh, began at the start of August, uh, and she said they normally take no more than 28 days. So they should have, by now, I'd have thought, made a decision um, from that first accuser who wants to challenge the decision. Uh, so now the process starts again. Um, so he will have to wait, but according to the head of the CPS, not for very long. Now, the right to review for uh, victims was introduced a couple of years ago and we're waiting to hear from the CPS whether any decisions have been overturned but uh, Miss Saunders did say earlier this week that uh, decisions not to charge somebody would only be overturned if they believe that they were wrong uh, but we don't know whether they have overturned any such decision in the two years the system's been in place. Uh, and just while we've got you, uh, the situation with Keith Vaz. Uh, well, that's not looking terribly good, is it? I mean, um, his, uh, his political career, certainly in uh, the doldrums. And, of course, uh, since the first stories arose of uh, his liaisons with two rent boys, there's been all sorts of dodginess uh, alleged about uh, Keith Vaz. I suppose uh, the most serious, and this is perhaps what's been complained about to Scotland Yard, uh, is an allegation that he offered to buy cocaine. Um, for uh, for the two male prostitutes. Um, so I guess that's something that uh, Scotland Yard will look at, but all sorts of other allegations that might, I suppose, give rise to concern that there might have been some criminality um, uh, in, involved. Uh, but Scotland Yard have said that they're simply assessing and identifying if any offences have been committed. That's a slight change of language from their usual scoping exercise. What it means is essentially, and they've actually said this in their statement, that no criminal investigation against Mr Vaz has begun. And of course, it may not at the end of this, uh, this scoping exercise. Okay, for now, thank you. I've been